Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I just want to quickly showcase how we can add Lombok to a Maven project. And this is going to be a first video in a very short series showcasing the usefulness of Java Lombok. But first of all, I just have a very simple and clean Java project built from IntelliJ with Maven. We then have a POMXML, which just contains like a basic project with some group IDs, artifacts, versions, and properties. We would then depending if you already have a dependencies area. If not, we would create one and then add the Lombok dependency. Or if you have another dependency area already, let's say containing some other dependencies, you just add it inside its own dependency tag. We then need a group ID, org project Lombok, artifact ID, a version number, and a scope. And one thing to note, there might be a new version, and using IntelliJ is actually very simple. We could just create the version tag, and just start by doing one, and it would suggest the newest version. We would then see an icon here on the right, showing that Maven have been changed, or POMXML has been changed, which then allow us to reload our Maven project for our entire setup. Or we can click this Maven tag or button on the right side, which allow us also to see our project. And we can then also click here to reload the Maven project. And just to quickly show because it works. And if you don't know, Lombok is a very simple light library that allow us to remove all the basic fill in like our basic objects. So let's say we created a quick Java class. Let's call it animal. And normally when doing Java, we would need like uh, attributes and a constructor and getters and setters. But using Lombok, we can just create like a string name, a string page, for example. Or just actually do an end as well. That's going to be a bit more interesting. And then all we need to do using Lombank is add an add value, for example, which will then create an immutable or a record as well. We could convert it as a record, but that's not for now. But just a value allows us to create an immutable Java object, which simply means if we create it like a main class with a public static void main, we can see that we can now create an animal animal equals new animal and then even though we didn't create a constructor in here we have a basic constructor when adding value which allow us to do a name let's do hans or oh, we're actually enforced to do a name and an age because we will have an all arcs constructor when creating adding a value tag which then create an immutable animal object with all its value. So we have a constructor taking all the parameters, all attributes. And for example, we want to print something. We can then also do animal dot get and we can get the name and get the age. But because we're using the Lombok value, we cannot change the values. Dot get age, but we couldn't do here animal dot set age, for example. That's not allowed. Then we use another annotation. Then we use add data. So let me actually show because we can do add data, for example. And we can then see here that actually add data doesn't have an all arcs constructor, it has a no arcs constructor. So we would then simply delete our name and animal, and instead of then putting them into the constructor, we do set age and set name. But just a thing to understand that Lombok allow us to instead of having the constructor, getters, and setters, just simply have a single annotation. And that makes our data classes like this very, very small mm -hmm. and very simple, which is actually very nice in the larger Java project. So I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction to Lombok and how we can add it to a Maven project. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.